I don't know, I just thought I'd do a recording. Um, first day in the new house. Uh, very nice sleep. Very little noise here. Some sirens when I woke up. Uh, but yeah, noise is nowhere near as bad as um, it was in Sheffield. Which is good. Um, it's just a travelling freak show there. Some gang stalking when I went out using the colour red. A uh, man and then a woman in a red coat. And uh, another person in a red coat. Which I'm glad, makes me glad I chose the colour red to wear. So I could target them back. Um, one thing I have noticed is uh, I feel a lot healthier here. My body's not stinging or aching. I believe they were microwaving me like crazy there. You know what I mean? And I just I got so used to it. I, I didn't notice um, how it was messing with me. My head's a lot clearer as well. I feel less tense. So I recommend any TI if you can. Get out of the cities. Get out of them. Because they're just becoming uh, death traps. Get into towns. Small towns that is. If you can. Or villages. Because the cities are not uh, nice places. Get into, if you can, get into the really wild places. Because the mind control technology, the microwave technology is a lot worse than the cities. I, I, I can't remember. I think since I just moved into that place feeling this clear headed and this relaxed. Like seriously. I think it would have drove me uh, insane if I'd stayed there. They, I, I think they really had me uh, being affected there. This building I'm in now has very thick stone walls so that might play a part as well. But I think it's because there's uh, not many mobile phone masks near here. There was one very close to where I used to live. Uh, also there was underground power cables. 275 kilovolts, so 275,000 volts nearby as well. Just want to be very healthy. Here there's... I'm not going to film here because I don't want them getting an idea of where it is. They're going to have to work to find out. I mean, I know most of them know where it is because they spy on everything you do, but I think when I was filming uh, where I lived, they used the videos to send to the perps, or well, not even the perps, but probably went to people in my local area saying, this nutter lives here, you, you recognise it, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, Millsbrook Park and all that, because that's where uh, I used to live. In Sheffield, the park's called Mearsbrook Park. That's where all the perps are in Sheffield. Well, not all the perps, there's, they're everywhere, but that's where the, the it was happening to me in Sheffield where I used to live there. So if you want to see where I used to live, well, not where I used to live, I'm not going to mention the flat number, but, you know, if you want to visit the park or something like that, it's not on these uh, road. Millsbrook Park, that's where all these scumbags are. The allotment on the left, when, if you, when you get there in the park, the allotment there, you'll recognise it from my videos. You won't see me because I don't live there no more, but I want you to see. Maybe you can, you know, give hell to some of these people, maybe, if you want. If you recognise them and you, you know you know the uh, bits they are. If not, either way, I just want to expose what was going on. Um, I do it myself, but I've got bigger priorities. But, yeah. So, you know, 
all the people on that lawn were more or less targeting me, near enough. That little road at the back is where they used to, Norton Lee's Road, that's where they used to drive up and down with the music blaring to, har to harass me and stuff like that. But yeah, West House Flats, that's where I used to live. Um, so yeah, um, if you want to ever visit it and see, well, it's, it's probably going to be quieter now I've gone, you know what I mean? It's probably going to be a lot quieter. But, um, yeah. I bet as soon as I've left that area, the sirens will stop. The um, cars will stop coming along the top road, like they were. And all, all that stuff will stop, I bet you. I bet you that'll stop. Because it, it was just ridiculous what was going on there. I'm going back there um, Friday. I'll be uploading these videos when I'm moved completely and not needing to go back because I don't want people knowing, you know, exactly where I live and everything. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you the flat number, but you can know the area and everything. These bastards need to be exposed, what is going on. Um, yeah, I, li I lived in West House for five years. Um, the, guy, the, the guy there is a perp as well, the caretaker. Uh, constantly harassed by people around that area. So yeah, um, Hope uh, gives you an idea. I'm I'm very pleased about moving. I think it's one of the uh, smartest decisions that I've made um, in a while. It's just better. It's just better here. I chose this place very carefully. I'm not going to show it, but if I did, you'd, you'd see how it's very difficult for them to target me here. They can't target me like they can at West House and usually can get away with it. Not without attracting the attention of neighbours and stuff. There's hardly any room for them to park. I mean, I'm sure they'll try some stuff. They, they have been trying stuff today, but... Um, <laughs> nowhere near. It's, there's no cars coming in at like the West House. It's, that's something they used to use to harass me. It's constant cars coming uh, in and out of the... Um, of the building. You know, constantly using that as a way to harass me and target me. But yeah, I'm very happy about moving out. Out if you if you can get out of the uh, cities. Just get out of them, they're not worth it anymore. They're going to the dogs. I mean, I think that was the best, one of the best decisions in my life moving from there. Really is, and they they were trying to trying to do their best, up to the up to the point of refusing to uh, let me have the house in my name. So, because I'm Asperger's, so I had to basically uh, get it in my family's name. Uh, it's going to be in my name eventually. They, they were they were refusing to put this house in my name, saying, "Oh, we don't we don't feel comfortable." You know, 
basically discriminating against me because of my uh, Asperger's. You know? Yeah. So what these small fuckers will do. So yeah, I hope uh Well, that's a good, you know, I hope that explains everything that's going on. I'm, I'm just glad to feel a lot better already. I've only been here less than a day and I feel so much better than that. So much better than that. I mean, the targeting will continue. It's not going to stop, even though I've moved, you know, to another place. It's going to, it follows you. Like Napier Roots says, it, it follows you. But you can choose places where they've got to really work for it and it, they can't do it as easily as if you're a TI, if you're living in an apartment complex, get out of it if you can. Because they move in above you, and uh, they surround you basically. They, they have people. As you would have known from our previous video, there are people stomping on the ceiling, uh, making noise all night. It, it was starting to happen. <laughs> like, I said to, uh, <laughs> to, to RT, you know, I'll probably go up there and just kidnap the bastards and kill them if it carried on, you know what I mean? Plus, that was shit was driving me up the wall, you know what I mean? With this, um, this noise. Like seriously, because I would probably, I don't know if I've gone that far, but I would have done something violent, you know, I would have, there would have been a confrontation play that way. So, it's a good thing that I move, mean, in this place they can't, there's no living above me. There's an old woman living to the uh, left of me, and there's a, what sounds like a family to the right. Ooh, they're a little bit noisy, but nothing compared to West House, I can't really hear them. You know, you hear the odd door slamming or people walking up the stairs. It's pretty... Actually, no, no one lives on the uh, left side to me. There's like a... How to ex it's hard to explain. There's like a... Um, it's very old-fashioned design. It's like there's a... I don't know what you call it. You know, like, like an archway on, under the house where you can walk through. And then the, the other house is on the other side, so it's not actually, there's not actually anyone on that side. It's just uh, a different house. So there's no one there, at least on the bottom bit, there might be on the top bit. But I enter it anyway. So yeah, I mean... Um, it's pretty quiet, which is nice. But right now, can't hear any sirens, can't hear. Because if they do it here, like they did it in Sheffield, they're going to attract attention. You know what I mean? If there's sirens all day here, they can't just use the, oh, it's a big city excuse no more. People are going to start asking questions. So this morning, there's two sirens going off. You know, because I'm in a town, but it's not a big town. It's not like uh, if you're from Sheffield area, it's smaller than Rotherham, it's smaller than Chesterfield. You know what I mean? It's quite a small town. So it's, it's going to be very difficult for them to uh, do the noise campaign to the level. Well, they could do it, I'm sure, but if they did do it, like last night they were trying it, I could hear the cars revving and stuff like that, like they do in Sheffield. But they won't be able to have sirens all day or all afternoon, you know, for several days without attracting attention like they could in Sheffield. Because people are going to start asking questions, you know what I mean? People are going to be like, what, what's going on? Why has there been sirens all afternoon for several days, you know? They can't do that anymore here. 
And if the same, the same if people come out here, start blaring music and stuff, people are going to start asking questions because it's a different setting. It's very quiet. So if cars start coming in, the neighbours might even come out and ask them what's going on, you know what I mean? So they're not going to be able to do that as easily. Well, they won't. Not easily anyway, not without attracting a lot of attention. You know what I mean? So that's a good thing. And best yet yeah, is south facing, so I get a lot more sun. My last flat was north facing. So I hardly got, I got sun like four days of the year and that was, that was only at sunset basically, like the longest day. I don't, that's the only time I get some sun in, you know what I mean? So, yeah, very happy, 